So first, let me say, I've had some things happen, and one of the things that happened to me is I, I gained a little weight. I had to say this one. Okay. All right. Is some baby fat still on me? It might be time for me to stop saying you're five. People listen to me. I'm a little crazy when I say baby fat. They say I'm older today, and I say five, and they look at me like, wow, and I'm... They're trying to be nice, and I'm looking at them like, bitch, if you say anything, <laughs> so they don't say anything, they just, they just smile, and they say that's nice. But I'm going to stop saying that. I'm going to stop saying baby fat. So I've been doing something, but before I lost the weight, I started being a little bit more intense with, you know, my breast exam. You don't know how that is. You have to do that. So since I had a little bit more fat on me, I'm like, well, let me check a little deeper. Let me look a little, you know, closer. Let me see what's going on. Make sure my boobies are okay. So I go to the, I'm in the shower. And I see this little lump. I'm like, oh my God, I'm stressing out. I'm crying, I'm calling people like, oh, bitch, I got cancer. <laughs> I go to the doctors. Now, my doctor's attractive, okay? So I'm not attracted to him because that would be kind of nasty. Yeah, it would be nasty. It would be nasty. I'm convinced it would be nasty. So I'm not attracted to him. But I don't want to look bad when I go there. So I'm a little, I'm a little uncomfortable about the weight that I gained. And I'm telling him, I'm trying to be, I'm stressed out. I'm trying to talk to him clearly. I'm trying to get him to understand what I'm saying. And his ears started flowing. I'm like, Dr. Bowen, I got cancer. I found this lump. And he's like, well, I have bad Miss Gamble. We just want to do the exam. So he's doing the exam. I put my arms back. Everybody knows how you do it. And he's flowing all around. And he's going like, no, that's just a fat pocket. <laughs> I love it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jerry. Sometimes I wonder about him. People ask me all the time. They say, how many kids do you have? And I told you guys, I have a nine-year-old. Did I say that? I'm old, so sometimes I forget. If I forget shit in my show, you let me the fuck know. That's your job. <laughs> yes. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm not asking you shit. So, I forget stuff. Okay, so I have the kids. And people say, well, how many kids do you have? I say, I have three, you know. But then sometimes I really want to say I have four. Because I'm married. Anybody married? Anybody married? Well, fuck y'all. Y'all not living my, my pain. Y'all not living it. Y'all know what the fuck it's like to be married. Okay? I have three, but really I have four. Because he's argued with some. Argue with a five-year-old man. Argue with a five-year-old. Five-year-old. You did that. No, you didn't. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, you did. I had to say to him, dude, you're the fucking father. <laughs> together, a unit. That's what a marriage is. You know, you come together, you put the hands together, they intertwine, everything goes together, it works well. No, no. Mm -mm. Not with this one. <laughs> no. It's nine o'clock at night. Five-year-old and nine-year-old. Remember that, people? Nine o'clock at night. It's a school night. Mm -hmm. Mommy, can I have some juice? <laughs> I said no. They go to him. <laughs> Daddy, can I have some juice? What you think he said? Yeah. yeah. He said, go ask mommy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
All right, I'll go because I'll sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, go. I'll go. All right. All right. So let me tell you something that happened to me this morning. Now, this wasn't even something I was going to talk about, and I had to really think, like, do I really want to talk about it? But I'm going to talk about it, and if you judge me, I'm going to judge you back. Just know that. So, my five-year-old, one of them, one of the twins, is named Jeremiah. He's wild, he's rambunctious, he does all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm down here minding my own business, because that's what I like to do with three kids. Mind my own business. Okay? I don't care what the fuck they do up there. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to mind my business. Okay? Unless I see blood, I'm not getting the fuck up. Now, if y'all want to call the just go to fucking the fuck up. I'm going to pick them up. It's for me. That's what I'm saying. Okay? So he screams bloody murder. I go running up the steps with my fat ass. So I'm mad that I had to run up the steps, first of all. Okay, so you have to remember the frame of mind that I'm in once I get to the top of the damn steps. So I go upstairs, he's in the bathroom, I'm talking to the child. Okay, I love my child, but sometimes I think he's fucked up. I don't know what's wrong with him, I don't know if it's in his blood, I don't know if I did something wrong when I was raising him. Maybe it was the time that I dropped him. Did I say it out loud? Okay, y'all didn't hear that. Okay. So I talk to the boy and I say, what's wrong, what's wrong? He says, mommy, oh my God, oh my God, it's an insect biting me. <laughs> so I look down, and I'm like, Jeremiah, there's nothing wrong with you, I didn't see it. So I'm looking like, where is the insect? <laughs> so the boy pulls his drawers down, and it's an ant on the tip of his penis. <laughs> so I look at it, and I'm looking like, that's not an ant. So I'm looking at it, and at first it looked like a little line, so I'm, I didn't mess with it. Then I picked it, and it's moving around in my fucking hand. Oh my god. So now I'm holding the ant, tired, fat, at the top of the damn steps, ready to beat my fucking child. Like, how did you get an ant? On, I wanted to say dick, but I said I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to traumatize him on top of it because the ant has to be trying. It has to be trying. I don't have a dick, but I think if I had a dick and I had an ant on my dick, it would bother me. It would bother me. I'm, just to, I'm just going to take for granted that it bothered him. And he's a child, so I'm, I'm trying to understand where he is. Like, okay, Jeremiah, let's talk about this. Let's discuss this. So I sit him down. I, I had to calm down first. So I took maybe like half an hour. I don't know if that was too long. <laughs> I needed to get a drink. I needed to take a cigarette break. I needed something. Otherwise, he'd be in the hospital and I'd be in jail. And we don't need those kind of problems at 2305. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I decided to kindly talk to the boy. So I sat him down. I said, Jeremiah, what happened? How did you get an ant on your penis? So he says to me, Mommy, the ant was crawling on me, and it crawled, and it crawled, and it crawled on the ground, and it went down, and it went on my penis. So I said, Jeremiah, you had on underwear. And it's five, so he has the elastic and the underwear, so he had to lift it in order for the ant to crawl down. Now, think about this with you. Oh, my God. Think about this. How long does a little ant take? To climb around his body, get <laughs> his pants. So this little stupid motherfucker stood up there and watched his head crawl around his body. Then he opened up his underwear and let the motherfucker go in. What the fuck was he thinking while this was going on? Okay, why was it okay for him to crawl? Okay, so I said to him, I said, Jeremiah. Why did you do that? <laughs> what else can you say? What else can you say? What? Why? Tell me why. Betty Ball. <laughs> it's Betty so Ball. Because I did. I said because you did. Because you did. So then I remember he carried a gun. It's upstairs. It's locked up. If I shot him, how <laughs> much trouble would I have? Then I remember his friend is a detective, and if he comes to the house tonight and he remember he find out that I shot my kids, I would damn sure to go to jail. So I decided against it. <laughs> Shut up! You don't know shit. I think it was wild. I think it was wild. So I decided not to do that, and I think for that reason I'm a good mother. Okay, but what y'all think? I'm a damn good mother. Okay. Oh, I'm done. No, you're not. I really didn't have anything else to say, so I'm done. <laughs>